All right. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, great day. Um, trying to change my verbiage. Anyways, how's everybody doing? <laughs> good morning, beautiful people. I am Jamal Kalpin of Kalpin Creations, and I'm here to help busy people on a budget to create quality audio content such as podcasts, audiobooks, and music. And specifically, I'm going to be sharing content related around podcasting and how you can get into podcasting and different tools and tips and tricks to help you um, get into the realm of podcasting. And in today's live, I'm going to talk about how to overcome the fear of podcasting. There is a link for, I'm typing, <laughs> there's a link for a free guide um, for those who feel like you have no time or very limited time um, that I just added. Hopefully it'll work. Yeah, there we go. Um, that you download this free guide and it has some tips and advice to help you um, figure out and navigate not having a lot of time to create a podcast. But let's go ahead and jump into today's topic, which is how to overcome the fear of podcasting. So I think a lot of times what people are afraid of when, when it comes to just creating things in general is sharing it with the world and being in the spotlight and presenting your thoughts, your information in yourself in a way that people could potentially criticize or judge or anything like that. And sometimes people are also afraid of like the technical stuff. <laughs> so like I want to make a podcast, but the equipment seems daunting or the idea of editing just seems frustrating. There are so many reasons to stop people from podcasting. Um, I was trying to look up some stats about some of the most common fears that people have. And for a long time, one of the biggest fears that people had was public speaking. And the thing is, I think podcasting is very similar to public speaking, which again, if you're, if you're, if you're afraid of public speaking, you know, the idea of podcasting might be, you know, also something to be afraid of. But the thing about it is when you podcast, you have way more control than you think compared to public speaking. And the first thing you can do to help overcome this fear of podcasting is to practice, practice, practice. And what I mean by that is practice producing your own podcast, practice recording yourself, practice editing content, practice interviewing people. You can do all of this in public. In public, what I mean by is sharing podcasts with people, or you can practice in private and share it with a few people that you know. Maybe you have friends and family that you're like, hey, check out this podcast that I'm working on. Let me know what you think. Or people that you look up to that podcast. Hey, can you check out this episode that I've been working on? Can you give me some critiques before you release it and make it go public? But practice, practice, practice. With doing voiceover, um, a lot of times people who are interested or have been told that they're good at voiceover, one of the first things that they have to get over is the way that they sound in the microphone. So that can be really challenging for people because you have a way of how you hear yourself in your head compared to how people may hear you. You got to practice though. So if you're doing voiceover or you're doing podcasting, you should be recording yourself. You need to record yourself on your phone. You need to record yourself on your computer. You need to record yourself often over and over again. You can just be reading uh, news articles. You can be reading scripture or whatever. You can just read, get comfortable. That helps you to overcome that fear. That helps you to develop the confidence that you need to keep going forward and to produce what you're trying to produce. So definitely practice, practice, practice. The second thing, the second way that, that you can overcome the fear of podcasting is to hold on to your why. Why do you even want to podcast? Everybody has different motivations behind why they want to create content or you know start a business or whatever. But identify why you really want to create a podcast. Even if you're creating a podcast for fun, hold on to that why. Like if you just want to sit down with your friends and discuss, I don't know, the latest show that you're watching, binge watching on Netflix or anything, keep in mind that, hey, the reason we want to do this podcast is so that we can have fun sitting around discussing stuff. This is a good outlet for all of us. This is a good way for us to have fun. And we want to share that with people. Hold on to that why, because when comments do come, when frustrations and challenges do come, if you continue to hold on to that why, and if that why is big enough for you, it'll help you push through. 
It'll help you get over the fear. It'll help you get over the challenges. Because again, if creating a podcast with your friends talking about Stranger Things, hint, I'm uh, really excited about seeing Stranger Things when it comes out. <laughs> Having that podcast, discussing that show, if that's a fun outlet for you and it brings you joy and excitement week after week or how off, however often you do your podcast, talking to your friends or even just expressing your excitement by yourself on your podcast, hold on to that why so that you can show up and keep practicing and so you can show up and keep producing that podcast. Whatever that why is, identify it and hold on to it so that it, it can help you to push past those fears, so it can help you to push past any challenges that you may be having. And the third thing is to realize you are not the only one. You're not the only one who thinks or who thinks what you think. So for some people, in the process of creating a podcast, one, it can be slow and kind of tedious because you're creating the podcast and then you have to share it. And at first you might be really, really excited and, you know, you're, you're really, really excited, but you see like not a lot of people are listening to your podcast. <laughs> Maybe the very first episode because you shared it with all your friends and family or whatever. And it seems like, oh yeah, a lot of people are listening to it. A lot of people are telling you it's a good podcast. But like after episode six or seven, maybe around 10. It doesn't seem like anybody's listening to your podcast. You got to hold on and realize that other people actually think and believe what you think. There are fans of your favorite show. There are those who uh, are passionate about whatever the topic that you're passionate about too. They just have to find you and you just have to find them. So like, hold on to that. Realize that there's somebody else out there who wants to join in on this discussion. There's, there's somebody else out there who's interested in what I'm talking about. And I can't wait to meet them. I can't wait to have that connection. I can't wait to have those discussions and build community with them. So it ties in with similar to your why. Keep those things in mind. Let those be motivations to help you push past your fears. The fear of maybe feeling alone. You can hold on and realize that there's somebody else out there who believes what I believe or at least wants to engage with me in conversation. Hold on to what motivates you, that why, that inspires you. And make sure to keep practicing, practicing, practicing. Because the more you do it, the more comfortable you become in creating and doing that process of, of creating your podcast. So those would be the three things um, that I would suggest to help you overcome your fear of podcasting. Practice, practice, practice. Hold on to your why and realize you're not the only one. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's that, that's true. I don't, so, okay, so I'm trying to use this Facebook thing, but I think I'm gonna go back to StreamYard. Anyways, uh, <laughs> thank, you, thank you for tuning in. But yes, your family probably won't be your biggest supporters. Um, yeah, but anyways, uh, again, I will be here tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, thank you for tuning in today. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be talking about how to make your podcast more interesting. But thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching the live. Thank you for watching the replay for those who are watching the replay. Um, again, in the comment section, I left a link for notimepodcasting.com where you can get a free guide, where you can get a free guide um, to help you podcast if you feel like you have little or no time. Again, I'm Jamal Calpin of Calpin Creations. Uh, please be sure to like um, the Facebook page. And for those who are interested in more content like this, I have a YouTube channel. So just go to YouTube and search for Calpin Creations. And uh, yeah, there's more content there to help you. What's going on? Uh, more content to help you with this audio content creation journey. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.